Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick tutorial on OBS. Uh, I was talking with one of my friends and one of the things we like to use OBS for is to increase the level of professionalism when we're doing Zoom meetings, team meetings, or any kind of webinar. It's always nice to have like a lower third identifying who you are or something like a watermark with your logo. Um, so I wanted to show how you can do that really easily here in OBS. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to studio mode because you never do anything live. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a scene over here on the bottom left. Uh, let's just call it new scene for today's tutorial. Now one of the things I like to do with scenes is I don't put the camera directly into the scene. Um, if you notice here on the left I have a series of scenes that are called base. Um, those bases already have my scene, my camera framed out the way I want it to be. That makes it very easy later on when I want to add the scene to something else. Or if I have multiple scenes referencing the same camera, I can change the framing of the camera on the base and that will change anywhere else that it's going to, that's going to be using that. Um, so the first thing is I'm going to go ahead and add my camera. Uh, so I apologize because it's here off screen, but what I'm selecting is add a scene. And that scene is going to be an existing host camera. That's what I've called this one. Um, now that you have this here, one of the things I like to do is I will lock it in place. As long as that framing is exactly what you want. Now you can mess with the framing here if you want to. Um, it will not affect the other scenes using that, which is also very nice to do. So if you want to do a zoom in or any kind of other custom framing here, or you want to resize it, it won't affect anything else. Um, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a color source. Uh, the reason we're going to do a color source is because we're going to want that nice little solid bar to showcase our whatever lower third title we want. Um, so let's call this a title bar. Let's go ahead and change this to red because anybody who knows me knows I love my OIT red. Uh, so here's the important parts. You should be framing, you should be filming in 1920 by 1080. Uh, if you're doing Zoom anything higher than that, if you're doing 2K, 4K, it doesn't come across in Zoom and Teams. So unless you're doing recording, don't bother. Um, 1928 by uh, 1080 is good, that's 1080p. That'll give you the ability to have higher quality video if you're recording for later use. But at the same time, you're not gonna choke your bandwidth or get throttled down um, when it down samples for the stream. So keep your width the same. You want that the exact width of your screen, your 1920. Now the 1080 you can play with. Um, I found somewhere between 200 and 300, depending on what you wanna do, is a good size. You're not locked to this. As you see, you have uh, your arrows here that you can change uh, to resize either of the sizes. Now keep in mind, if you move this up or down, you are going to do this proportionately to the frame. Now, uh, that's probably not what you're trying to do. Now, with OBS, if you hold the Alt key, then you'll see it turns green and you can actually resize this way. That's something I like to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. Uh, I think that's a good spot. You'll notice that the frame, as long as it has that green, that means it's been resized on that surface. Uh, if you go ahead and drag it all the way out, it'll be the full size. So good to go. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a text source. Uh, let's call this title. And let's say Ray Orsini, OIT VoIP. Uh, I'm gonna change the font here because why not? Uh, you can play with opacity, you can play with gradients. Uh, personally, I like to outline. Um, normally, I outline not in a black, but in something very close to it. Uh, this is all personal preference, nothing you need to go crazy about. Uh, you can change the font, the outline size, you know, just something that's nice, but it's not, uh, not too much. Um, don't worry about the font size. And the reason is, is because just like with everything else, once you have it in there, you can go ahead and resize however you want. Now this is one of those I would keep the aspect, aspect ratio because it can get pretty ugly if you don't do it the way you want. Um, or if uh, you start messing with one side versus another. Now once you have it the way you want, uh, now this is one of those important things. This is the reason I lock. If you noticed, I tried clicking on my name, but what I'm actually moving is the title bar. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the title bar in place. Now I'm going to take the title and I'm going to move the title exactly how I want it. And once that's there, you can always take the title, now assuming it's unlocked, you can always take the title and title bar and say, okay, I want to move this somewhere else. That's absolutely cool. And sometimes it's easier to do it from the menu than it is to click here uh, for the same reasons. 
So that's basically it. Um, I'm using OBS 26.02. Uh, it's been this way at least until I want to say 24 or probably much earlier than that. But if you want to add a lower third, you don't have to worry about a graphic artist. This is a nice, simple way to add whatever text you want. Have fun with it. If you have any questions, hit me up, ray, R-A-Y, at oit.co, or leave a comment here, and I'll respond back to it. Have a good one.